In this lesson, we're going to be adding sliders to the wiggle expression to control our flower's individual rotation over time. Okay, so in our last lesson, we added the rotation to the whole flower mark, but it left me feeling like we needed a little bit more movement in the actual flowers themselves as this gets shot up into the air. So we need to go into our flower mark composition to figure out what we need to change. So let's double click to come in here and I'm gonna toggle off my transparency grid really quickly and also go up to view and clear my guides and then we'll come over here and turn off our rulers in our uh, guides and grids and our title action safe just so we have a little bit more of a clean slate to work with here okay so this looks beautiful they're moving along really nicely but they never really change over time you can see that they just kind of have the same amount of wiggle and we know that at some point during the timeline probably right around here is when the flowers get bumped up into the air and they're still moving on the inside of this comp exactly the same as they were when they were just blowing nicely in the wind. We know that's not enough movement. So to be able to change your wiggle over time, it can be a little bit difficult because you've got uh, this basically expression that is controlling it. And if I come in here and I try to set some keyframes, you can see that I'm able to set it, but it's not really giving me a back and forth wiggle anymore. You can see that it's just going to take care of those keys and then wiggle afterwards. It's not really moving one way or the other. So that's really not enough movement for me. And I think there's definitely a better way to do it than just trying to set some rotation keyframes right on these flowers. So I will undo those keys and we'll just stick with that same thing that we have there. And then we'll actually add what's called a slider to control this over time. Because you can see that you can't really change the wiggle expression over time without a slider. If you just add keys, it doesn't really look like it's wiggling anymore. So to add a slider, you're gonna come up to layer, go to new, and you'll create a, just a null object. You could really add it to anything, but I like nulls because they don't render and they're easy to add these types of things to. So we're going to have a slider for a couple of things. So if I toggle that rotation down, remember how we talked about frequency and amplitude. I want a slider for both frequency and another slider for amplitude. So I'm going to right click this null, go down to the bottom and choose rename and we'll call this freak amplitude or um, slider and then we'll create another one layer new null object rename it and we'll call this one amp slider okay now as far as After Effects knows right now these aren't sliders at all they're just null objects that have been renamed so to make it a slider we actually need to select the layer go up to effect come down to expression controls and choose slider control and then you can just simply grab the slider control, hit control C, select your other null object and hit control V to paste that slider control effect basically onto your other layer. Okay, so we've added our sliders but they're not hooked up yet to our um, flowers. So to do this, we need to change some things in our expression and we also need to open up these sliders so that we can actually see the stopwatch of the slider. So I want to toggle those down so that you can see the actual slider control with the stopwatch. That's what's important. Now, for our frequency, let's remember that that is at 0 0.05, at least at this point in time. So now, instead of actually giving this a value here in the expression, the value will be determined by whatever we have set up here in the slider. So instead of saying frequency equals 0 0.05 or 0 0.5, I'm going to delete that and simply highlight the word frequency. Then I'm going to tie it to my frequency slider by having the word frequency highlighted and coming over here to my expression pick whip. So then I can left click while that's still highlighted, 
drag it up to the slider on the frequency slider layer and let go. And that's going to add a whole new bit of text to my uh, wiggle expression. And that's basically saying whatever this says is what you should put in the number that is uh, determining the frequency here. Let's do the same thing for our amplitude. So I'm going to delete that equal seven, highlight the amplitude, grab the pick whip, and take it up to the amp slider this time, just like that. Now if I left click away, you're going to notice that that is no longer moving around. But let's say I'm just going to set a couple keyframes here with those turned up. And then let's say I'll turn them back down to zero. So you can see how they're moving really, really crazy. And then it's going to slowly fade away as I get closer to those keys. And then it stops wiggling. So this is amazing. We can control the wiggle over time. We can control the amplitude of the wiggle. So how many degrees it's wiggling. And we control the frequency of the wiggle, which is how often it's wiggling. So having control over both of those properties with a slider over time is huge. It's not available just in the regular uh, wiggle expression. You have to actually come in and type it to those sliders but it's well well worth it so now that we've done that let's go ahead and copy and paste this new wiggle expression that we've created to our other two flowers now they're still going to be random and move kind of differently because it's still being driven randomly it's just going to have a little bit more control over how much and how often it's happening over time so let's just go into our flower two and flower three check out that rotation and I'm just going to left click up here on the one that we changed. It's going to automatically highlight the whole thing for me when I just left click once. So then I'll just hit control C to copy it, click away, left click into this one and hit control V. And you can see that the whole thing has been added when I left click away. It looked like not all of it had been added, but when you click away, it's all there. Now we'll come in here and do the same thing left click, control V, click away, and there it is. So you can see those are moving with those crazy keyframes I added as a test, and it looks great. So what we need to do is actually add some real keyframes. These ones were just for a test. So what I'm gonna do is scrub past that zero point so they're zeroed out and turn off the sliders for now. And we're gonna come back in the next lesson and figure out where we wanna actually change the values and set the keys um, for these so that we get that crazy movement over time that helps to reinforce what we're seeing out here in our Poppy Shop logo as it gets bumped up into the air. So we'll come back in the next lesson and add those values to our sliders.